Hey guys, um, so I'm really hoping this goes okay. I'm gonna test this one more time. And, uh, well, you know what, no, I'm, I'm done testing. Let's just play this game. <laughs> Got milk? Not anymore. Everything is going just as I planned. I like I was talking to a Tamagotchi. Last one passed. No butter on toast, no ice cream, no cheddar cheese, and nothing but dry cereal. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll talk more after this opening cutscene is over. This is some really important plot information we're getting here. Somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No, thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner, then? Nope. Gives me the vapors. Then may I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. I never got right. that she was, if like, in on the spy Enjoy. stuff when I was a kid. I thought he just randomly got this thing. Good to see you, Agent Fox. Ha! Ah, monkey penny. <laughs> now this is a real TV dinner. Right. Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the factories and offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated abandoned and drained of milk. Soon, the entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Yes, it is. Here's the only clue we have. Feta cheese. A low grade, too. Spy operatives took that picture in the office of Mr. Howard Hugh Heffer Utterly III. President and CEO of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Exactly. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Utterly is your top priority. <laughs> He shouldn't be hard to spot. The feta cheese samples found in Utterly's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center where you'll rendezvous with me and later on with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune cookie. Any questions? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny, out. Oh, I love the jazz soundtrack of this game. So I will I will get to I I this the, the my other <laughs> maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. I'll get to the basics of which what we're watching in a little bit. <laughs> Pardon me. That airline food will get you every time. That's certainly not the kind of entrance a super spy like myself normally makes. Hmm, so this is the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. I seem to have arrived unfashionably early, since nothing seems to be open. I should meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. All right, well, hey guys. Um, I really missed recording. It's been like two weeks since I finished, well, maybe more like three weeks since I finished up my Magician's Quest playthrough, which still has yet to be posted in full, by the way, but I decided to do something kind of small, which would be one of these uh, humongous entertainment games. If you're not familiar, they're basically a little point and click mystery game for kids. Um, but in case you haven't noticed, there's plenty of uh, adult humor, or like, well, okay, not adult humor. I know he just landed on a whoopee cushion, but there's plenty of humor. There's like stuff that kids probably wouldn't be able to get, I guess. Um, but I'm really glad to do this because I was like trying to test, I was trying to get it set up and it took like two hours and it just wasn't working. But I, I think I'm finally okay with these settings. It's not ideal. Um, in fact, I don't know if we want subtitles on. I think I'm going to leave them off because... Uh, well, I don't know. Let me, let me see here. Let me look at the settings. Give me one moment. Okay, let me see how this looks. Hey, want to see my tattoo? Your mother must be so proud. 
Okay, I think I'm okay with those. They're not always 100% accurate because a lot of the dialogue is very long. So if it turns out to be more of a, a nuisance than a blessing, I will turn them back off. And sorry if I should have had them on for the opening sequence. I'm just sort of flying by the seat of my pants here. Um, but this is Spy Fox. This is definitely the most adult. I mean, you know, it's it's still a kid's game, but it's the most adult of Humongous Entertainment's main four franchises of uh, Putt Putt, Freddy Fish, Pajama Sam, and Spy Fox. And uh, it's it's one of my favorite games from that era. The door's locked. Um, I think this is my favorite Spy Fox game, although all three are really good. I think. I guess I, the cantina doesn't serve breakfast. Well, I have to say that's the first time I've ever been grateful I ate the airplane meal. I love this guy. His tattoo keeps changing. I feel like that defeats the purpose of a tattoo a little bit. Not a bad chest either. All right, I'm gonna stop being disgusting. So this is not a very long game. We'll probably be, I don't know, like three episodes max maybe? We'll see. But there's a lot of things ah, you can the click. Mediterranean Sea. Too bad there isn't a boat for me to rent for a little cruise around the island. Yeah, that is too bad, Spy Fox. I'd better go check in with Monkey Penny. It's a good thing she gave me the entrance code phone number. Five 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 two two nine zero. How fortunate that Monkey Penny gave me this entrance code. So here's your little here's your little inventory. Sometimes you can stretch a little farther, but you have your spy here's gadgets. Where I keep my spy it's gadgets. empty right now. These are your topics of conversation here's you can interrogate go. people I with. Use the talk balloons to gather information. And then everything else is just items. It's a photograph of Mr. Utterly. And then it's we also have our spy watch. Please stand by. We can touch base with Monkey Penny. Where are you? I'm waiting for you at the mobile command center. Of course you are. I was just doing a little sightseeing. That's all. There'll be time for that later. Now use the spy code and get down here. This is serious. All right, all right. Give me one second. I want to. I want to explore everywhere. This is Nog, Nectar of the Goats. If I'm not mistaken, and I rarely am, that stands for Nectar of the Goats, a world-renowned purveyor of goat milk and goat byproducts. So I'm guessing you gathered this from the introduction, but basically the plot of this game is there's this mogul of goat milk who has basically enacted corporate terrorism on... Um, amalgamated Mujus Incorporated, which is a big milk company. He's trying to deprive the world of all cow dairy so that people will have to drink goat milk. Really sophisticated plan, if you ask me. Oh. You can waste a lot of time with these things. As I'm proving now. I'm sure glad I haven't had to wear a silly disguise on this mission. Like the time I had to wear a fake mustache made of belly button lint. Oh, that is too bad. Um, so, obviously, Spy Fox is a big parody of James Bond, but he's also kind of a reference to, I think, the Get Smart show. I think his voice sounds very similar to Get Smart, or like there's some voice actor in common or something. Anyway, let's move along, shall we? All right, let's see. So this first puzzle took me a long time as a kid, even though it's not that hard. It should be pretty obvious. And I want to see if there's other things you can dial. Hello, you've reached the offices of Amalgamated Mood Juice Incorporated. Our staff is a little tied up right now, so we'll have to get back to you as soon as we're rescued. I better try another number. Okay. Clear. Five 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 two two nine zero. Hello, Spycor Mobile Command Center. Penny, I've got your number. So this game is almost kind of a visual novel in some ways, but there are multiple solutions. I'll now go into that later. A person-to-person -person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spyfox. Hello, monkey. 
that monkey Penny. So what do you think of Skycorp's new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square was a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That was Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the Spy Gadget vending machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Good, because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping cart without a broken wheel. I love How that line. Apt. Now pay attention. This is Greek money. It's called drachmas. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. And this is a... A toothbrush. And I sure could use one after that airplane meal. Don't put that in your mouth. It's not a regular toothbrush. It's a special laser toothbrush. Let me show you how it works. You hold the laser toothbrush, apply the minty fresh laser gel, push the button, then you can use it to cut through really thick steel. Hmm, I guess that's one way to fight cavities. So, do we have any idea where Mr. Utterly is being held? No solid evidence yet, but you might want to check out that feta factory down by the docks. Feta factory, huh? That's what I was doing I before I you summoned me down here. All right, well, here we are. Um, Um, so, I was gonna say, okay, so, uh, obviously Spy Fox is some kind of spy who, uh, is always doing these world missions, and he has, uh, his helper, Monkey Penny, which is, of course, a reference to Money Penny from James Bond, and then he also has his, uh, his Brainiac Duck inventor scientist guy who, who gives him spy gadgets and his name is Q we'll meet him later no his name is quack well, I'm sorry professor quack and that's a play on Q from James Bond interesting I do really love this set piece the um you can see how it's a sideways boat <laughs> and then you can like go through the floor anyway Mind if I take the Asti Spumoni out for a little spin? Sorry, Fox. Quack hasn't had a chance to fix this since you cracked it up escaping from the evil Dr. Maybe. <laughs> okay, and of course the service of Dr. No or something. I don't know. I, I haven't I haven't um, watched or listened or read much James Bond. My dad's a huge fan, but Don't you have better things to do than to fiddle around with an empty vending machine? I need to get to that Feta factory and find out if Mr. Utterly's there. Oh, Spy Fox? You're going to be busy on this rescue mission. Should I call the Spy Academy and, and tell them to cancel the weapons class you're going to teach? What? You're going to tell them that Spy Fox doesn't have class? <laughs> They'll never believe you. Oh, boy. Let's check calling her when we're in the same room. Please stand by. I'm right behind you, Fox. Of course you are. I was just <laughs> testing the watch. <laughs> okay, I'm having way too much fun. <laughs> That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to okay, do me any good. Okay, I just wanted to confirm what it was. Anyway, so we got our laser toothbrush. Now who's calling unnecessarily? Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox here. Hi, Spy Fox. Remember, you can call me via your spy watch anytime. Yes, help and information. we know. Just actually, press the Mobile Command button. Will do. Spy Fox out. Oh God, I love this game. All right, <laughs> let's see here. Hey. Let's look at his tattoo see again. My tattoo? Where to saw that one? Repeat. All right. Um, I guess the only thing we have to do now is go to the, uh... I'd better save that until I really need it. Can I try to... I'd better save that okay. until I really... This game has the best, like, retro, just, like, smooth jazz soundtrack. I just love it. Alright, well... Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Obviously. Gotta use this here. The laser toothbrush makes impervious steel doors pervious. Very pervious. 
<laughs> I, love, I love how he carefully cuts an outline that looks just now like him, and then he just flips through it instead of walking through it. No buts about it. That's Mr. Utterly. I do right. see the resemblance. And he's dangling over a pool of piranha. Now the question is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? Good question. All right, give me one second here. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so we are here in a what appears to be a nectar of the goats uh, warehouse, I guess. Let's see if we can pay these piranhas. I guess not. Uh, I guess I pose that toothbrush is a one-time thing. Um, well, I really want to help him quickly, but at the same time, I kind of want to check out this, is my this uh, mini game. A break I think Mr. Artillery can wait a few minutes, don't you think? I love how the, the font for the th subtitles change. Okay, um, each Spyhawks game has a little watch mini game, and this is by far the hardest one. <laughs> uh, happy fun sub, and we're shooting subs. I just find this game so incredibly difficult. I know it seems easy now, but... Okay, so you basically... Okay, this is coming back to me. It's been a while since I've played this. You need to get one of each of the little thingies. And there's like one in each. There's like one on, under the surface, there's one on the surface, and there's one... Oh, there it is. There it was. I missed it. Okay. Oh, here it is. Okay. Now we need the... Okay. That was not ideal. Alright, let's try that again. It's really hard to... Okay. I think this, like, determines your speed or something. Jesus Christ. Okay. That's... Oh, my God. Okay, that was close. Oh, my God. Sorry. Okay, now we have for plungers. Oh no! Okay, that was a good thing. I, I missed it. Okay, yeah, and it'll warn you when a mountain's coming so you can, like, get out of the water. Oh my god! This game is so hard! Christ. It's called Happy Fun Sub, but it's not very happy and it's not very fun. I mean, it is fun. It's just not very happy. I should call it Miserable Fun Sub. Or at least, like, agonizing sub of pain and torture. Sounds like a real BDSM kind of game. It's not that kind of sub. Oh, here we go. Alright, so I beat the second level. That was. No, I beat the first level. Now we're on the second level. Okay, so now we have to get two of the little beacon things underground. I don't really know. Oh, no, there's electric eels. Perfect. I don't really know what, what it is we're collecting, but it seems important. Okay, well, the electric eels are still vulnerable to, my, or to our submarine sandwiches. I will say, I don't, I don't like the second Spy Fox game quite as much as the first, but it's like watch mini game is so good. I could play it for hours probably. Okay, maybe not hours, but a very long time. Maybe hours, actually. I probably could play it for hours. It is really fun. It's a lot more in depth than this. And it, like, the sounds are so satisfying. Anyway, I shouldn't be talking about it when I'm playing a different game. I'm cheating on this game in my mind. Oh my god, this is mean. Oh my god, what is this? I've never seen those before. I guess I haven't really played this game very much. I think I just died very quickly as a child. Oh, here we go, here's one. Oh my god. All right, I'm never gonna beat this level. All right, well this is what you tuned in for, right? This is not even <laughs> the main game. Okay, come on. Okay, well, I said this would be, like, three episodes, but if this goes on for much longer, I might end up, like, this might end up being more than that. Okay, come on. 
I feel like I'm gonna need to speed up because this is taking forever. Oh wait, it said I got two? I don't, oh, oops. That's weird, I didn't think I filled my requirement, but okay. I don't remember getting two, but my thing's gone now, so, okay. Oh no, ah, uh, I suck at this game, god damn it, oh my god. I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm gonna play this again later and I'm gonna try to get farther and you'll be, you all will be so proud of me. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, what was that? Okay, I guess it's a submarine, but it looks like a whale. Uh, okay. I could not tell if that was a whale or submarine. It seems like it was a submarine in disguise as a whale, I guess. So I guess the obstacles are changing in each area. Um, there's also some, like, some arcade games that are, like, there's no story and it's just, like, a mini game like this. Um, I think Spy Fox is, like, Cheese Chase and Hold the Mustard or something. Maybe I'll play those sometime. The Hold the Mustard game is, like, surprisingly intense. There's, like, secret levels and shit, and I remember being pretty hard. And, like, I'm kind of scared to play it, which makes me think I should play it for the channel. Ah! Go away! See, I, I, I didn't sign up for this. Ah, here, okay. I, I, I played this because I thought it was going to be a relaxing time. I don't really know how long we should make our episodes for this because... I don't know. The more episodes I do, the more video games... The more videos I have to post. Oh my god! What are those? I guess it's some kind of pollution. Well, there's a lot more to this game than I realized. At least, well, there's not a whole lot more, but I'm at least finding that there are, like, there's a greater variety of, um, enemies than there were before. Or, well, than I thought there were. Okay. Okay, here's one. Oh my god, why are they so hard to get? Jesus Christ. I touched that. You can go back and look at the footage. Pretty good soundtrack for this. It's a little repetitive, but I like it. There we go. Alright. The good news is that I'm, I'm not really getting any extra lives. I don't know if you even can in this game, so... If you're not enjoying this part of the Let's Play, it'll be over soon, I promise. Oh, I see. Okay, I just realized that the thing on the left shows you how fast you're going. Shit, I just missed another one. Okay. I don't know what these blobs of slime are. I'm not a fan, though. Yeah, just the overall aesthetic of this game is really good. It's just kind of like... You know, it's kind of that mix of, like... I don't know what the style is, but it's, it reminds me of, like, 90s offices and, like... That kind of, like, slightly modern, slightly abstract art that's, like, a little warped. Um, it kind of, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of that a lot, um, especially with, like, oh, here we go. Alright. This island needs to end soon. This landmass, whatever it is. Come on. Thanks. Okay, is that it? There we go. Oh, it's like, oh, okay, well... We're on to our zeroth life. What even is th okay? There's all this pollution, I guess. I made it to Commander. How many? How many? Oh, okay. That that was weird. Okay, okay. So we only need to get a little farther to get. Um. All right. Anyway, let's let's get back to our spy mission. Maybe that lever will help me get Mr. Utterly's rump roast down from there. Oh my god, that was very stylish. Uh-oh. This is trickier than it looks. <laughs> Why couldn't they have filled this tank with goldfish? Alright, well... 
Hmm, this must be the temperature control for this pool of piranhas. Kind of an odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. The piranha pool seems to be getting hotter. Ew. Not a fan. I do not like cockroaches. Piranha. I wonder what a South American fish that can eat creatures alive has to do with making cheese. I have a feeling this is no ordinary feta factory. <laughs> He's so observant. The piranha pool can't get any hotter. The piranhas are already sweating. If that's possible, I don't think it's possible. I hope Mr. Utterly's okay. It looks like he's been hanging for a while. I'm sure glad I haven't had to. Okay. That well, let's let's find the real solution to this puzzle. It should probably be obvious to you as the viewer, but in case it's not. We just need to make it cold enough that it freezes. Seem to be slowing down. <laughs> Put them on ice. Hmm, fish on ice. That was that very quick freezing. For Mr. <laughs> Lol. Pant, 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 pant. You saved me. Thank you, Mr. Um. Oh, Fox. Spy Fox. Routine rescue, really? Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good. I need to change my pants. <laughs> You've got to stop him, Mr. Fox. All right, just I love this calm guy. down, Mr. Utterly. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. When you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. Yep, you have to stay pretty sharp in the dairy biz. I immediately snapped into action. There were dozens of them. I fought them hoof and nail. Pow, 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 I did. My whole body is a weapon. Then suddenly, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing. Feta cheese, 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 cheese. cheese. The stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. <laughs> Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers choked me. Is feta cheese only made from goat milk? I'm not sure. Bag. They whisked me away to Kid Secret Island Fortress. It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a, like a piece of beef. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Well, thanks to a little bovine ingenuity on my part. I picked a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called Nectar of the Goats Corporation. He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, use this milky weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous crime. I like crime. when the sun is sad in this scenario. Take over the entire dairy world. Hi, Fox. <laughs> Someone needs to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Hmm. Sounds challenging. I need to find that oh, secret Spy Fox's fortress voice color changed. and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost forgot. When William the Kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turned yeah, the milky um, weapon of destruction. Yeah, there's some typos oh, in, the, in these captions. I hope. Where is it? I hope they don't uh, destroy your viewing well, experience. I had to the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. We need to figure out a way to get a look at that code. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and stop William the Kid. I love how catty this game is about goat milk. Like, in every depiction, it tastes disgusting. <laughs> or maybe that's just Mr. Utterly's opinion, um, being that he's a dairy man. Hey, according to Spycore's database, William the Kid has three overdue <laughs> library books. I always suspected Kid had some latent criminal tendencies. Oh, God. All right, give me one second. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Alright. 
Good morning, Spy Fox. I took the liberty of loading the vending machine with some of my ingenious new spy gadgets. You should take a look at some of them, Spy Fox. They may come in handy. We need to find a way to see that code inside you, Mr. Utterly. Mm -hmm. I was afraid you were going to say that. I have to warn you, I have a pretty low tolerance for pain. I once passed out from a paper cut I got while licking a stamp. I wonder, his voice is very unique. I, it sounds like Don Knotts. It can't possibly be Don Knotts, right? He wouldn't bother voicing it. Something for a kid's video game. How does know. this work, Professor Quack? Oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor x-ray gun. Yeah. I say that like I wouldn't totally try it. I'll I would. I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, you move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is, when you are done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very refreshing, beefy flavor. Oh my you god. Know, four out of five dentists prefer x-ray gum for their patients who need x-rays. A duck needs his fiber. How's your assignment going? Have you stopped that loony lunatic William the Kid yet? No, not yet. But don't worry. I'll get that goat's goat one way or another. You know, if I took the Afti Spumoni, I could be getting much better mileage. And what's wrong with walking? Don't you care about the environment? You spies are getting much too dependent on these gadgets. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like stopping a terroristic act. The least you could do is let me drive. You can't just walk there. But yeah, see how this like yellow block is off off of the outline? That's like an artistic style choice or something. And I just I don't know what it's called, but I do like it a lot. That's mm. the X-ray gum. Alright, let's just use this real quick before we get into all the other gadgets. Now, if you don't mind, Mr. Utterly, I'm going to need to use this X-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh... <laughs> Professor Quack, your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Utterly's gut. I love this part. Here's a tape cassette, or cassette tape. A pencil. Eat love. Oh, there's uh, some spaghetti. Man, what is he even eating? Is that a pen? Oh, I guess that's a pen. Some bones. A band-aid on his ribs? What is this? Man, dude, Mr. Utterly, you gotta get some of this stuff checked out. It, I don't think it's healthy to have this much shit inside you. His ticker looks like it needs winding. Oh dear. I found the note. Oh, I'll hold on, hold on. I, I was looking around some more. With that key. I just need to find it. There's a paper then airplane. Out place it. Okay. His ticker looks like it needs winding. Oh, I see. Okay, it's not gonna kick me out. I just wanted to look around. Like, like, apple core. I like how all this lines up very nicely. They, they did a very careful job here. Um, oh, there's a wrench. Okay, that's got to be painful. I, me, I, would wretch. I agree, Spy Fox. Okay. I've got to look for that key. So, I think I mentioned stopped. this before, but there's multiple, like... There's multiple paths this game can do. There's like random, and there's like a couple different combinations. But um, one of the things is what exactly you need to get to disarm the thing. Um, sometimes there's one of these wafer things, and sometimes there's one of these like diode tubes. But in this case, we need to get this key, I guess. Um, so that tells us something. Alrighty. Well, let's look at some other spy gadgets, I guess. What's in this egg-shaped container, Professor Quack? This is a little gadget I call the Spy Putty. What you do is open the cute little egg container and spread the putty on whatever you want to make a copy of. Press down, 
and then peel the putty off. You have a perfect copy. Hmm, that looks rather silly. I know what you're thinking. You think that the spy putty looks a lot like that silly stuff they sell in toy stores. <laughs> what you don't know is that I thought of it first. I'm sure their legal team advised them not to say the actual oh, phrase silly putty, so they had to just... That idea. silly stuff you see in stores that may or not be, you know, that silly stuff that is something like putty. Ugh, I love these little cracker packs. I don't eat them anymore, but they're mm, so delicious. They look like a delicious snack. May I eat this, Professor Quack? Okay, that's you read my the mind, cheese Spyhawks. and safe cracker kit. It will help you to get into almost any safe in the world. I won't explain exactly how it works, because it's very scientific and complicated. Trust me when I say it works like a charm. And it tastes great in soup. So I'm probably going to play this multiple times yeah, eventually to try to get to get it so that, you know, we, we have to use all the gadgets. Because you don't have to use every gadget in every playthrough. Um, so we'll see. Okay, I feel like there's fewer gadgets than I remembered. Okay, so we had that one and the toothbrush. Then we have four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven. That's a pretty good number. It's a little less than I remember. Let's check out... Should we check out one more? Actually, I think we're good. Well, let's check out what it this is. It appears to be a shoe. What is this gadget, Professor Quack? Oh, that's the night vision shoe. One of my most ingenious inventions. If you happen to find yourself in a dark place, all you do is strap the shoe onto your head, and then you can see in the dark. How illuminating. But you'll look like an idiot. Yeah, and it has excellent arch support. That one's a little weird. I don't really... I feel like there's some pun here that I'm missing. Like, this is clearly an interesting take on Silly Putty, and this is a, a safe cracker, you know? Um, but I don't get the pun when it comes to the night vision shoe. I think it's lost on me. Oh, your good time hits all the time. Oh, interesting. Hey, according to Spycore's database... Yeah. Hey. Oh, all right. Hey, does anybody have an idea where a cow could get a fresh pack of Cuddlicious around here? You know, Mr. Utterly, the Surgeon General has determined that cud chewing is not only habit forming, but can also be pretty darn disgusting. Well, that's a little judgy, but I get it. It is kind of gross. Alright, well, it is now late enough that we have all this stuff open. Um. I'm almost wondering if it's worth taking a break now. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I feel like this episode's gone long enough, so I'm going to take a break. Um, I guess I should save my game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm going to need to... Mm, all right, I'm going to pause this. Um... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish the video, and then I'm going to try to fix these keystroke things. All right. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Um, yeah, I love this game, and I, I'm really enjoying the opportunity to show it off. So thanks for watching if you did. Catch you next time.